Oh man, this is one of my favorite questions to answer. What do Dorper sheep eat? Well, I think you're gonna like the answer. I get this question a lot because a lot of people on my channel will comment and say, hey, what are you feeding those sheep? They look great. <clears throat> the answer is a lot easier than you might seem. So stay tuned on today's episode. I'm gonna kind of mix my experience with what, um, what I've read from some scientific papers that compare the Dorper to other sheep. So if you're ready for science on what Dorper sheep eat, this is the video for you. I'm over at my friend's uh, yard or pasture today. These are actually all his rams, uh, all of his ram lambs that he got. Um, I think they're they're probably almost three months old, I would say, recently weaned. Okay, so I want to use this video and talk about um, a, a, a very prolific study that, that has really cleared the air on this, okay? So I'm going to read directly off of it at some point, and in addition to reading off of it, I'm going to kind of add, add my own commentary. So pardon the boring language, I'll kind of talk through it as well. So this is from the abstract of that study. <clears throat> It was clear that Dorper sheep are less selective grazers compared to Merino type breeds. So, less selective, what does that mean? Well, why don't you look around? There are dandelions everywhere, everywhere here. Um, and these sheep are absolutely fine eating dandelions. Okay? I just saw you actually chomp down one of these, uh, what do you call them, stalks, the petals, whatever, the things that fly away. Um, chomp down one of those uh, whole. Okay, next line here. Dorpers utilized shrubs and bushes to a greater extent, but grass to a lesser extent in relation to merino sheep. All right, so again, that's exactly what you want to hear. You don't need to have this perfect, you know, picturesque pasture for these sheep to be totally happy. They're, they're happy eating exactly what you see here, okay? So don't sweat uh, having a perfect pasture. In fact, variety is a spice of life with Dorper. Okay, next part. The Dorper also utilized a larger number of different plant species than Merinos. Basically saying the last thing again, just in a different way. They will eat a greater variety of stuff than a, uh, a Merino type sheep. Okay. Uh, next line, I love this one. Dorpers walked less to select food or suitable spots to graze, which consequently led to a shorter grazing time and less separate grazing periods. So in layman's terms, <laughs> they don't walk very far to find their food. They'll eat what's in front of them. I wish, sometimes I wish I was raising, uh, or I could bring these Dorper to my dinner table at night instead of my five-year-old. Okay. Last and finally, Dorpers consumed less herbage per metabolic size compared to Merino type sheep. So what does that mean? That's probably the most technical line in there. Basically, they eat less to make more muscle, which as a producer, that's exactly what you want. And notice how I said muscle there. These Dorper are very lean sheep, but they also just have this wonderful, uh, inner muscular fat that's within there so they so summarizing that study they don't walk as far to eat they take less time to eat they eat what's in front of them and they convert that food into muscle better than merino type sheep so what else do you really want in a sheep <laughs> other than those traits I used to have a neighbor uh, at my last property who is honestly a really good friend, a lot of experience in this, but he would, uh, he would point out to me, oh, look at that weed, you gotta pull that weed up, or you gotta spray that weed, um, your sheep won't eat it, in fact, it'll make them sick, or whatever, and uh, no, he's wrong. <laughs> they eat, they eat what's in front of them, man. Um, I will say this, if, uh, if you're new to Dorper, and you've got a weed on your property and you're like, oh man, like, they're not eating that one. Or, or if you're like me, I planted some red clover thinking, you know, oh, that's a great, you know, legume, nitrogen fixing uh, plant. Let's put it in the pasture. They didn't touch it. And I was bummed. I was like, what the heck? Dorper are supposed to eat everything. 
give it time because there's a season for it, okay? E each plant has its season. Grass is kind of in season just whenever it's, you know, more than a quarter of an inch off the ground for sheep. But that red clover, they really wanted to go after it in the autumn in my case. So if you feel like they're not really doing what, um, what they're advertised to do, which is eat everything in front of them, wait, because chances are throughout that year they probably will. Okay, so on my last property, um, we had trees everywhere lining the property, and they're beautiful. They're, we we're told that they're Carolina poplars, and <clears throat> um, they're beautiful trees. The problem is they're about two and a half, three feet in diameter, and uh, planted a little bit too close together. So that was a problem because some of them were, were pretty unhealthy trees. So. My wife being the uh, arborist that she is uh, recommended which ones go down. We hired to get them uh, felled. However, we're too cheap to let people, you know, chop them up and chip them. So we just left them on the pasture. And man, every day when a, when a uh, new tree came down, my sheep were so happy to have all of the green, green leaves to eat from that. They loved it. So sheep will eat the leaves off of a tree. Um, they'll eat them when they are freshly fallen. They'll eat them when they're green. They'll eat them when they're dry. Basically the only leaves they won't eat are during that period where the, the leaves fall off the trees and it is uh, wet from the snow and they just kind of get wet and soggy. My sheep don't really touch those leaves but if they're dry brown, dry green, these sheep are chomping them. All right, thanks for watching this video so far. I have one more thing to add about these sheep. So I get this on the channel all the time when people say like, what are you feeding them? They look great. Um, the answer is grass, the answer is pasture. Do they need to be grain fed or grain finished? No, absolutely not. Um, I'm, I'm pretty much against most any ruminant getting uh, a good portion of its diet from grains, especially corn, uh, but um, I will say I have experimented with finishing uh, some rams on grain for like the last two to three days of their life and it's just a supplement of rolled oats. So I don't know if I, I mean that was just something that was recommended to me. I tried it. I really think the only purpose for grain in a sheep's life is when there are young lambs and you just want to get them accustomed to, to being your buddy and you just put a little bit in your hand and let them eat out of your hand when they're of an age that's appropriate to do that. So do Dorper need to be grain fed? I disagree. I don't think that they do. That's the beauty of Dorper. That's why this is such a desirable sheep. It's breaking the conventional wisdom rules of raising ruminants for profit. Um, what's cheaper, grass or grain? Well, if you have the grass, grass is always going to be cheaper than grain, which is why these sheep are so amazing. Okay, that's it for me today. I'm glad you stopped by this video to learn what do Dorper sheep eat? I hope you like that answer. I know I like the answer, um, being that they eat what's on the ground. They eat grass, they eat shrubs, they eat bushes, they eat leaves. Uh, they're doing what the ruminant is supposed to do in its historical role. And I am grateful for that and grateful to be raising them. They're such solid sheep. So thanks for stopping by the High Mountain Homestead today and I'll see you on that next video.